Hi guys, um, so a very, very, very quick intro this morning because I'm very much rushi rushing. Um, but I just want to mention I really like my makeup today. My eyebrows have gone well, my eyeshadow has gone well, everything's just gone well. So that is a very, very good thing. Um, because for a while now I've hated my makeup. I don't know what's been going on with it. Um, we are popping off to London today, um, just with my family. Um, I mentioned it in yesterday's vlog, so if you want to know what we're doing, then go and watch yesterday's vlog. I will link it down below. Um, so we're going to do that today. I really quickly need to upload my vlog from yesterday um uh up to youtube um and in a major rush so yeah i hope you enjoy the vlog today it will mostly be kind of just like um bits and like clips and things like that with music over it and then i will try and vlog later as well when i get home um but just because i'm really not comfortable in vlogging in front of my family um at all um <laughs> i'll be completely honest with you um so yeah um so that's what we're doing today I will update you along the way and hopefully show you a few clips and I hope you enjoy it. today um i don't know just like not like actually speaking to you and only like doing clips because really i was not gonna vlog around the center of london just wasn't gonna happen and as i said this morning in a very very rushed introduction i was literally so rushed this morning um but as i said this morning in a very rushed introduction um i'm not really comfortable about vlogging around my family um i think i'd be okay like around my mum maybe i'm not too sure maybe my brother I know, but pretty much everyone else, I'm not really that comfortable about vlogging around. Um, so, yeah, I'm back home now. Um, and I'm currently debating as to whether to upload this vlog on its own tomorrow or whether to upload, combine this one and tomorrow's vlog together and upload them on Wednesday. So, obviously, by the time you see this vlog, I will have made my decision because <laughs> um, it depends whether you see it on Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, but, yeah, currently debating over this with my friend Paige. Um, so, yeah, don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, but I am going to give you a little sneak peek of some things I brought today. I didn't buy very much at all. Um, but because my stepmom works for Waitrose, um, she gets 25% off at John Lewis. Um, if you didn't know that already, if you know someone that works at White Tribes, they get 25% off at John Lewis too. Um, and because obviously John Lewis sells makeup, I get 25% off any makeup that I'd like. Um, so that is pretty damn good. So I um, basically was going to John Lewis with her and I was thinking to myself, do I want anything? Do I want anything? And I thought to myself, do you know what I want? I want this. Estee Lauder Wear. I have not had it in a very, very long time. I'm talking, I think, I mean, is this still a bottle in my cupboard? I'm not too sure. I don't think there is. I think I threw it away. Um, yeah, definitely threw it away. But I have not had it properly, I'd say, in like two years. Um, and I got it. So I got it in the colour Ecru because that's, one of, that's the colour that I had beforehand. And even though I am tanned at the moment... And even though the foundation I'm using at the moment is quite tan, even though it doesn't look like it right now, um, and this one is not that tan, I just thought at the end of the day, if I need to mix it, if I need to bronze it up, it's fine. But I want, I'm not going to use this entire bottle up in the next like 
four weeks so i might as well just buy it and use it for the whole of winter rather than like buying my shade now um if that makes sense i'd rather just like bronze up now or have to mix it with the darker shade now so i brought it um i just have really missed it i've seen quite a few people talking about it lately just saying how much they love it i'm really struggling with my foundation at the moment with the fact that it's not lasting um and it's just not staying on my face it's just getting oily and shiny and as you all know i've mentioned it a million times in vlogs recently um and yeah i'm just happy to have this back in my life so definitely very excited to use this tomorrow morning um very very excited so yeah looking forward to that so i got that and i walked in demanded that she give me the product and that was it then um she said we've got a special offer that you get a free gift if you choose something else if you buy two things so i was like well 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 what else what else can i buy and i was thinking well, what is the free gift now the free gift was this that is the wrong side the free gift was this so you got quite a few bits in it but it is very deceiving so if you are an estee lord counter and they tell you this remember this over here on this side just here <laughs> Um, it says that you get a free um, Estee Lauder Instant Glow, no, Illuminating Perfecting Primer and a Double Wear Stay In Place Concealer. You don't, you get samples. Um, now it does say primer and three concealer shades inside. Doesn't say they're samples, nothing, it just looks like they're full size products on the thing and she didn't say they were samples. I bought it, got everything, realised there were samples. Um, and they were kind of the things I wanted to try the most. So, and by samples, I mean tiny little sachets. Let me get this out for you. By samples, I mean this. Like, it's a little cardboard thing, and inside, you've got these. Like, this is rubbish. Um, so, it's not even like a sample, small sample type thing. So, that is really annoying. So, basically, she said, is there any, and obviously, I didn't realise that until I brought it anyway. So, I brought it. Um, and she said, is there anything else that you would like? You can get a free gift, blah, blah. So, I was looking at everything. And I have been really wanting to buy a high-end bronzer lately. Um, I don't know. I've really wanted to try um, either the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer. My arm is killing. My, uh, the Guerlain Terracotta bronzer, bronzer or the Clarins one. Um, or the Estee lord of bronze goddess bronzer and because i was there um at estee lauder i was like maybe let's look at the bronzer look at the bronzers and it was really nice and i did swatch it on my hand did really like the shade and then i was like well i have got bronzers i just feel like i need another one um just because i've kind of been playing around with them lately um and i thought but really when it comes to it do i really need another bronzer blah 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 so instead i got another concealer which i didn't need either but i got the estee lauder double wear brush on glow bb highlighter now everyone or not everyone but a lot of people speak about this and i am really excited to use it um it looks like this it's really like fat um, and I really, I don't know, it just, just pleases me. I got it in the colour 1C in light cool because they had this one and then, jeez, I'm chucking it everywhere, which is more of like a neutral colour. Then they had a light warm colour which was very pink toned, which doesn't really make that much sense, does it? Um, but it was very, very, very pink toned and I just wasn't feeling that. It was more like a corrector really. And then they had the medium shades but they just weren't quite the right shade for me. So I picked this one up instead um and i'm really excited to use it it felt really nice on my hand um so i'm really excited to use that um so yeah i got that so that's very exciting i'm really excited to use them both tomorrow morning um so yeah very very exciting um i do want some more high-end makeup um i feel like i have not brought high-end makeup in such a long time like the last makeup that i brought was kiko um and yeah i just i really really want like a real good makeup spray um so maybe i'll like save for that maybe i'll do it in like september or something when i'm like in the house i'm sorted might have a bit of like some cash floating around <laughs> and i'll buy some few bits from high-end makeup and pop to selfridges and really treat myself because i don't know i just really want some bits and bobs um especially like bronzers i'd really like a really good bronzer at the moment i keep watching people's videos and their makeup's like amazing and there's been this amazing contouring and highlighting and everything looks perfect and they've blended the foundation really really well and i'm just really jealous i really want to like i don't know up my makeup skills a bit because i feel like i'm slacking at the moment and everything just looks a bit plain and everything just looks a bit samey samey up with my makeup so i'm gonna get on that i'm gonna try and like make my makeup look better this clip has been seven minutes long i was worried about this vlog not being long enough oops it's probably now too long um 
But yeah, so we've got those bits today. Now, I'll just show you what's in the gift that came with it, just in case you guys kind of are going to SL order and you are going to buy some bits and bobs and want to get the gift. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around, though, so my arm doesn't hurt quite as much. So this is what it looks like on the outside. Obviously, you can see exactly what you're going to get, except from this stupid thing here. Um, so it all comes in this bag, and you get a makeup bag as well, which obviously it does say on the front, but I didn't really realise. Um, and it just looks like this. It's a real summery makeup bag, which is really nice. Um, so this is what that looks like. Um, and then you've got all the bits and pieces. Um, so in here we have... What do we have in this one? Oh, I think this is the lipstick... Yeah, so you get this lipstick. Now, lipsticks in free samples are never my favourite thing uh, because they're always a shade that no one really wants and that's why they've put it in there. This is okay, but it's a blue shimmer shade, so it's going to have that kind of sheeny shimmer to it when it's on your lips. Um, I might end up giving this to someone, really. Um, this, what shade is this in? I can't see that. Um, pink Parfait. Um, yeah, this is what this looks like. Um, so, yeah, got that. Um, and as I said, because it's a shimmer, I'm not really, you know, that excited about it. I'm sure I'll get some use out of it, or I'll give it to someone, or, you know, something along those lines. Very excited about this, though. This is the Estee Lauder Little Black Primer. Um, I still don't really understand what this is. It says Tint, Amplify, and Set. Don't really know what it is. Um, I don't know. Should I read? Didn't really say. Maybe I'll read the little, like, card that's inside this package. Um, but yes, this is what this is, and that is exciting. Um, but I have heard very good things about this, so I'm excited to use that. I don't know if it's like, I'm guessing it's like a, um, a primer for your mascara. Um, I'm guessing, anyway. Then you get this size um, cream, which is a very good size. What mil is this, actually? This is 15 mil. Which actually looks bigger than that. It's probably because the packaging is quite big. Um, and this is the Resilience Lift um, Face Cream. Or it's the Face and Neck Cream. It says firming and sculpting. Um, so it's more for like older skin. But I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine on mine. So we've got that. So that's nice. I'll use that tonight. Um, and then I got three things in here. Um, so I got some eye cream. Which I always am really excited to get eye creams. I don't really like buy eye creams myself. But when I get them in packages or in samples. I always use them and I really enjoy using them um, so I got the same kind of eye cream to the um, moisturizer and then I got this which I use Estee Lauder um, advanced night repair every single night and this is the Estee Lauder perfectionist CP plus R and this is for wrinkle lifting slash firming serum now these type of serums, I'm probably not going to buy this full price just because my advanced night repair, night repair does some great things for me. But I still like using kind of like wrinkle serums only because I find that they're really good at like revitalising your skin um, and like firming your skin, making everything quite nice. Um, I don't think they should only be used on kind of older skin types, definitely not. And then you get this eyeliner here, which for me is not very exciting, really, it's just a black eyeliner I feel like that doesn't excite me very much at all um but yeah so that's what you get in the little package it's not a bad free gift um especially for me like you know buying something else so yeah it's not a bad free gift but it's not like the best free gift you've ever seen in your life either so i just put my hair up as per usual because i just <laughs> um, don't want my hair out in my face when i don't need it in my face um my hair is really annoying me at the moment oh guys i'm getting my hair done I'm getting my hair done next tuesday so a week tomorrow so that's very exciting i'm getting it all dark um and i'm getting it cut and i'm just really excited because i literally hate my hair at the moment and another thing on hair i brought myself a hair product i know shock horror when do i ever spend money on my hair i just don't i've kind of realized that like, i never spend money on my hair like makeup i will spend a lot of money on my skin i spend a lot of money on hair i just don't even my haircut doesn't cost very much on my hair color um i love my hairdresser so it's not that's not a problem i'm actually going to a different hairdresser this time because my hairdresser can't fit me in until the end of august and i cannot wait that long to get my hair done um i got this this is the bumble and bumble bumble and bumble texture hair and dressing cream it says it gives hair that that elusive undone yet done quality with a hint of grit extra lift and a tussled shine free finish and i quite like that look sometimes um i really struggle to get lift in my hair i really really struggle with it um i never quite get that kind of like volume or if i do it doesn't stay i just really struggle with it so i thought i'd give this a go i don't think i've ever spent as much of like as this on a hair product um i think it's ridiculous to be quite honest when you think about it because i spend so much money on my like 
makeup and on my skin and really like and my hair is always there so I don't understand why I don't spend money on my hair um I'm really like I think it's because I've never found products that really do that great of things like sometimes I just think your hair's your hair and that's that but some people say that about my skin and I disagree so I don't know if you guys can recommend some really good hair products that give you that volume and lift keeps it in all day really kind of helps your hair out then let me know um i don't know i just i probably don't use enough products on my hair at all really sometimes i or most of the time i'll just shampoo condition my hair get out of the shower blow dry it straighten it and leave the door whereas really if i gave it a bit of like i don't know work it would probably look really nice um and i also quite want one of those like babyliss big hair type things um i feel like that would give me quite a lot of volume and i feel like my hair would look really nice if it was like nicely blow dried it always looks really nice when it comes when i come out of um the hairdressers and it, the volume in there lasts quite a long time and that is because it's been well blow dried but i can't do a salon blow dry every day but hopefully like a babyliss big hair type tool would give me that salon look i think um so yeah i might ask one of those for my birthday um what another thing as well today i've just felt really like fat as anybody else have those days like i know what you know you might all comment like oh you're not fat i know i'm not fat but i just i've really felt it today like especially i think when you go around london and you just look a bit like oh and like going to changing rooms and stuff I was just a bit like, I just stopped feeling how I'm looking. Um, I think it's because my makeup doesn't look that great. I don't like my hair. And my body could do with a bit of work. So it's just, you know, when it's just all together and you're just like, a bit like, great. Um, so yeah, I think once my hair, once my hair's done, I will feel like a different person. I just really despise my hair at the moment. I hate it. And I think because it hasn't been cut as well and it's the wrong colour for me, that I just, it's not she's just not doing anything right it could be the most voluminous most nicely curled hair in the world and because it's got a rubbish cut and a rubbish color at the moment i just hate it um so yeah not feeling this at the moment to be honest but i think i might try and eat healthily and do some exercise for the next couple of weeks i could really do like my arms just need a little bit of work like as i say i am not fat I know I'm not, um, so don't worry, I'm not saying that I am um, at all, but I'm just saying I could do with, I, last time, this year, this time last year, I was a really nice size, and I went to Freshers in a really nice size, and I could wear anything I wanted, and I felt really, really good about myself, and I don't feel like that right now, and that's how I want to feel again, so yeah might need to do a bit of work to get there um so yeah maybe i'll be doing that in the next couple weeks which is so boring i just it depresses me thinking about, about the fact that you've got to exercise and eat healthily oh it's just awful it's just horrendous it's the worst kind of feeling um but yeah i am really gonna try because it is the best feeling when you really feel great in your body isn't it really let's be honest um but it's just the work to get there it's just not it's not fun is it come on um so yeah i'm gonna take my makeup off now and maybe use my new creams and uh, that's exciting um yeah oh one more thing just quick um which is why i actually started this little clip um and i'm just trying to you know make my hand not hurt as much um, I, the other day, and you lot are going to be like, you've just bought a foundation. Yes, I know. The other day, I ordered Dior Air Flash foundation. Very spare at the moment, very much impulse buy. Um, from me working the past couple of weeks, I was supposed to be saving my money, and I was supposed to be saving up for uni and all that kind of stuff. Well, that hasn't gone very well. Miss old uni tips here from, you know, uni Q&As. <laughs> um obviously isn't doing much um, and isn't doing very well with her money saving um but i'm doing a car boot at the weekend it is fine hopefully that will like get me a bit of dollar in the bank um <laughs> anyway um so i brought to your air flash to the day the only reason i brought it firstly because i've been very fed up with my foundations at the moment and haven't been like that for probably over a year and secondly because i watched your i watched yours no, I watched Goss Make Parties videos, which I've been obsessed with lately. I have just been watching his videos over and over and over again. And I just absolutely love his videos. I think they're so good. Um, but anyway, he's in a video about the best foundation. And he said, Dior Air Flash is so good. He did a little demo. And I was like, that looks amazing. So I bought it. So that should be here in the next couple of days. So I'm very excited about that too. So yeah, maybe no more buying for a while, um, I'm thinking. Um, unless it's kind of uni house stuff. But I really am trying to save money it's just things keep coming along where i keep having to spend money i didn't have to spend money on foundations that is a complete lie but you guys get what i mean um just like my car insurance came out of my bank today and just things one after another just like that's just life but yeah hey ho but yeah be excited for your air flash 
We've busted out the big guys right now to get rid of these time of the month spots with Origins, a clear improvement, active, charcoal mask to clear pores. Um, I always find this really gets rid of spots, um, if anything does, so we're using this. My best friend. Um, I love, do you know what? My one of my favourite things, and I'm not going to talk for too long with this one because I'm going to edit it back and be like, you have a black face mask on. You cannot <laughs> vlog for this long. But one thing I will say is that these at Christmas, when you get the gift set of this, drink it up and drink it up intensive masks, buy it. It's such good value. And literally, like, I've had this now for nearly two years. It'll be two years this Christmas nowhere near finishing it um so yeah defo recommend getting that at christmas if you can um because they're like smaller sizes as well so yeah defo recommend it i'm gonna stop vlogging right now whilst got this face mask on because I'm not feeling like i'm gonna appreciate it when i'm editing it back um but we're getting real right now we're in the pug t-shirt we've got the face mask on we've got the makeup off and we're in the pajamas so yeah hope you appreciate this kind of down to earth situation um i am going to clean my room though because right now it looks like a complete tip because uh when i came back from bradley's yesterday i actually didn't put anything away i came back at like midnight stayed in bed till like half well about two o'clock in the morning um and yeah i didn't really do anything so I'm gonna clean it up now and obviously the room is extremely like bad lighting um because i've just got literally like a light on over the other side of the room and that is it just all cozy in bed um and i've been in bed for quite a while now um and i'm just watching gabby's new vlog and um it's just it's just great because she hasn't uploaded in like a week for a vlog and i i really like her vlog so i'm just watching that now um it's called an emergency and it hasn't been an emergency yet so i'm looking forward to the emergency that's about to happen in the vlog um i just want to really say i'm also on pinterest at the same time and this time i'm not looking at uni ideas i'm just really liking pinterest because i just said a second ago that i really wanted to try and kind of like not lose weight but just maybe tone up a little bit and just make just for feel a bit better and you know just get to a shape that i would like and it's not going to take too much effort but a little bit um and so i was just on pinterest looking at healthy eating ideas because i really don't like vegetables um i really really don't like vegetables i love fruit i will eat as much fruit as you will give me but vegetables i really don't like there is literally hardly any vegetables i do like and I really struggle with it. Um, so when there's things to go with dinners um, and I don't want to eat carbs, I find it really difficult. I end up just literally having meat by itself. Um, and yeah, I just, I hate vegetables. So I was just looking at a few things that I could eat instead. And um, then I got bored. So I still started looking at healthy eating stuff, but not vegetables because they're boring. And um, I've just been looking at a few different things like um, baked apple crisps that you can do like in the oven basically pinterest recipes that really no one really does in their everyday life but maybe just once and no one does them every week like pinterest tells you to um and everyone feels really guilty when they look on pinterest and think oh my god i never actually make those so other people make those um those type of recipes um but yeah i did just see some like baked apple chips and then like baked apples as well that were all like soft and then i also saw some frozen strawberry ice cream or frozen strawberry sorbet that someone had made um and i looked at the ingredients and it was really like simple so i'm thinking i may make that tomorrow so we may have a very interesting vlog tomorrow um these will definitely be separate vlogs now i'm pretty sure but um yeah we'll have a very interesting vlog tomorrow so look out for that um i may not make anything but i'm feeling that i might make something um and i'm also going to be sorting out stuff for a car boot um because i'm doing a car boot on sunday which i think i've mentioned um before um i'm in bradley's jumper if you're wondering why i look like i don't know like a hiker or someone that's going on a 
an alpine ski trip. Um, I was just a bit cold, so I've just popped it on. Um, but I'm going to carry on watching Gabby's vlog now, and I'm going to end this vlog here, I think. Um, so, yeah, if you have any re recommendations or anything that you would like me to do in the next four weeks of me vlogging, or if you have any things that you think... Or she could do with that doing that in her vlogs or anything like that. Then let me know down below. Sorry, this vlog has been a little bit boring. Um, I hope you've enjoyed me just chatting to you though, and seeing a bit of my day in London. Um, I really hope you enjoy um tomorrow's vlog. Um, we'll see if I can actually make myself some Pinterest food ideas. Um, and maybe then we'll make them into a main channel video at some point. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have really enjoyed it, and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye.